Cup, the Jockey Club Gold Cub Invitational. It's a grade one going a mile and a quarter, and I drew a five horse field. It is a win and you're in for the Breeders' Cup Classic. Even though it's a small field, it's a competitive field of five, and the distance may have a little bit to do with why such few horses have entered this race. The only uh, major omission from this field from the East Coast was Yoshida. And I assume he didn't enter just because it's only a five horse field and he needs some pace and a bulky field to run at. Maybe he's just gonna train up to the Breeders' Cup Classic. I remember when this race was two miles and they used to run uphill both ways to win this race. No, I do remember when it was two miles and I do remember when it was a mile and a half and with the Breeders' Cup Classic becoming such a focal point, they basically reduced the distance. Let's start at the rail and we have Tacitus and Tacitus has kind of earned the moniker of a hard luck horse in 2019. He's had a few races with some difficult trips. The interesting thing was, is he donned blinkers for the most recent race in the Travers, went to the lead and then was dogged all the way around by Mucho Gusto, finally put that horse away, but then late came Code of Honor. And I think that was really his best race of the year. He won the Wood Memorial with a little bit of trouble. Yes, he went, uh, ran uh, closed in the Derby, but he was really never a threat to win that race. Um, I'm not sure he liked the sloppy track, actually. Then in the Belmont, he was outside and wide when inside was winning that day. And basically, Sir Winston, uh, with a heady ride by Joel Rosario, was able to go to the rail. And I thought Tacitus, most people thought Tacitus ran a better race, but he was outrun late by Sir Winston when it became a sprint off the slow fractions. Then Tacitus went into the Jim Dandy uh, in that race. He just was out kicked late. He broke a step, step slow and then had to rush up. But again, he was outrun by tax in the Jim Dandy. Traver Stakes uh, just uh, was uh, kind of dueled in submission on the front end after getting blinkers and showing unusually early speed in that race. So Tacitus, definitely a contender uh, in this race in the Jockey Club Gold Cub Invitational. Meanwhile, Code of Honor, who won the Travers, he ran uh, second officially in the Kentucky Derby. Again, ran against the bias in the Florida Derby. That was a better than looked race. Uh, earlier this year, I think some people thought he was gonna be a turf horse. Then they thought he was more of a miler, but his dominating performance in the Dwyer Stakes really stamped him as one of the top three three-year-olds. They have not indicated if they are going to actually pursue a Breeders' Cup Classic. I think he could win this race and then cut back to the cigar uh, grade one race at the uh, in November and then point to the uh, Pegasus or the Dubai race or the Saudi Cup. So it'll be interesting to see if the connections of Code of Honor decide to go towards the Breeders' Cup Classic. I'm not so sure they want to come back at a mile and a quarter, go into McKenzie's home track, and really a, a win here and a win in the uh, cigar mu uh, uh, mile, and he would have the three-year-old championship sewn up. And I don't think they want to have to face the Breeders' Cup Classic field. Just some of my own thoughts on Code of Honor. He's definitely a contender in this field, but he ain't going to get that big bulky field and fast fractions here. It's going to be slower pace, and can Code of Honor run closer to the pace and still have that kick that he showed in the Traverse Stake? He really was able to pick up the pieces after Tacitus and... Mucho Gusto dueled the entire way in the Travers. Meanwhile, Vino Rosso, one of the older horses in this race, you know, he was dusted by McKenzie and the Whitney. He showed a little bit more speed that day. Going back to his Hollywood Gold Cup at Santa Anita, that day he was able to pressure the pace against probably more of a grade two horse uh, in that race. I think he's going to run a good race here. He's got some time to rest. I think a smaller field and I think slower fractions and he should be up on the engine and he can definitely get a mile and a quarter. This should be a good prep for Vino Rosso. Preservationist was beat by McKenzie, but that race uh, in the Whitney Stakes, he had to show speed because he was kind of the lone speed and he was forced to be put into a position he didn't want to be in on the lead and kind of faded late. Meanwhile, he came back and won the Woodward Stakes after kind of just relaxing and then making an inside move to secure the victory, but a little bit weaker field in the Woodward Stakes. Definitely a preservationist is a contender. And then Olympic Village rounds out the five-horse field on the outside. He's going to have to step it up and move up in class here and go the 10 furlongs if he wants to win the Jockey Club Gold Cup. I'm going to go with Tacitus. First time this year I'm picking this horse. I think his race in the Travers was a big race. 
Um, I think Vino Rosso is going to like the 10 furlongs. I think he's going to like the slower fractions. And I guess Code of Honor is going to have to prove it to me. I thought he got a good setup in the Traverse Stakes. I thought he had the big field to run at. I thought Tacitus and Mucho Gusto did all the dirty work. And he was hard ridden to pick up the victory in that bigger field. Now he's got to do it in a smaller field. You could make the case for preservationist. I guess his best chance of winning is maybe, you know, you kind of just got to toss out his Whitney stakes when he was forced to run against really his better running style. Otherwise, any of his other two, three efforts this year, uh, speed figure wise, can pick up a victory. When and you're in for the Breeders' Cup Classic, don't forget we've already got previews up for the Chandelier Stakes and the American Pharaoh Stakes. Hit subscribe. Uh, we're looking to get to 200 subscribers here by the end of the weekend, and we'll race you all the way up to the Breeders' Cup. Previews of all 14 Breeders' Cup races coming up later on as we get closer to the Breeders' Cup. Hit subscribe, and it's a win and you're in for the Breeders' Cup Classic, the Jockey Club Gold Cup Invitational. My top selection is going to be Tacitus to turn the tables on Code of Honor.